So what are we going to look in today? Any idea? Any idea? Okay, a uh, brief about me. I have uh, seven plus to be precise around eight year experience of technology. Uh, I have worked in various techs, including IoT, Android development, web development, data engineering, AI, ML. And uh, I've worked with various different companies, not as in, uh, <laughs> that's a nice question, Mr. Saran Kumar. I haven't worked on iOS a lot. Okay. So yes, uh, on this scene, I've worked with Intel, Bosch, uh, FL Smith, Vaya, and a lot of good companies for a short period of time on their projects, on their competitions, on their hackathons and stuffs. For my work, I have been featured in some good newspapers for like Times of India and things. So that's a short brief about me. If you wanted to know anything about me, you can just Google my name, Netaji Space Nirmal, and Google will fetch out all the things which I would love Google to know. Okay, that's it. Okay, today, web analytics. What's your thought on web analytics? Maybe in a word, you can tell me. Obviously, we are going to get into it. <clears throat> I just wanted to know what idea you have on web analytics. And today, I, I literally don't know how many people are going to attend this. A lot of groundbreaking truth is going to get broken today. And let's see how web analytics is affecting your life and how you are going to reverse effect it. Analyzing the web data, okay. <clears throat> then let's take, let's not take the too much time here. Okay, analyzing the web usage to be precise, good. That's all. Okay, extract web data from for getting its insights. Yes, to be precise. Okay, let me put on the screen. Just give me a second. Okay, I uh, okay, that's great. I believe the screen is visible to you, right? Yes, let's get a check. Oh, yes, sir, it is. Yes, that's great. I'll just check that I can, okay, I can annotate the screen. Thanks for enabling it. Yes. So I usually start everything by putting this code related to technology. I used to start everything by putting this code forward. Every technology under the sun, sun is one or the other way, it's just a super importation of either virtual or physical element of a human body mechanism. That's it, nothing more than that. So coming on to the point, let me explain you the agenda. I'm putting off the chat box for a while. It's a hindrance for me for uh, writing things. So let me explain that uh, agenda, how it's going to flow. First, we'll be explaining and I will be seeing what is web analytics, all the five uh, W's and including that one H mostly. Okay, what is web analytics? How web analytics is done? where it is done, why it is done. Is there any other questions left? What, where, why, how, when it is done. Okay, so all these things. And as I told you in the beginning, uh, you'll be getting to know some groundbreaking truth which have been implicating your life, your friend's life, everyone's life. You'll get a lot of sync between the informations which we are going to speak today. And after that, we will do I have planned two hands on. Okay, let's see how things goes and how we get it completed. First, we'll build a web app quickly. I'll tell you oh, four plus five, totally not more than seven lines of code. Okay, you can, ten, you can tell it as a 10 liner code. We are going to build a web analytics app and lively we are going to see the demo. Okay, and one thing, Second thing, if time permits, we'll take some junk of good data from Google Trends and we'll analyze how it goes because you'll have all the information, how things are working. Using that, I'll give you some sample codes. You can work on it, see how things are going around the world. Okay. So web analytics, before getting into this particular area, we should get a clear picture how web evolved. Okay, that's obviously a old story, but I should, Tell you that again. 
initially it was just web 1.0 <clears throat> where people exchanged a simple website simple informations uh, simple documents nothing more than that and currently we are in this period where we share everything to whatever we see whatever we hear everything is being it's being shared okay all the services are being shared this is web 2.0 and we are currently in this area and the web analytics which we are going to see is on this web 2.0 then what is web 3.0 which is going to be which can be and which may be the future there's no confirmations yet the only main uh, aspect or the main objective of web 3.0 is decentralization okay all this analytics um companies making big 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 money with just analytics okay i'll tell you this thing uh, everyone knew uh, fan companies and man companies and any company any big companies which have more than 500 billion evolution you can just check them those companies would have started and would have been making money their major money will be made just by web analytics who needs my screen yes okay let me clear this okay they'll be making money only with web analytics i'll tell you how how things are happening in a step by step way okay first answering question what is web analytics and before going to that why analytics took off did they do uh, Uh, analytics in 1970 or 1980s when the computers were introduced or else take during 1990 to 2000 did they do any web analytics was the concept was prevalent during that time yes during 1990s and 2000 internet was there uh, the interactions were there everything was there did they do any analytics no of course as mr karan stated no then why it started when it started any idea on that when everything started <clears throat> maybe i should correlate this with this thing web 2.0 nearly i can tell the period when android became famous when everyone started to have a mobile okay during this time itself web analytics took off but it was happening only in the higher level and later when there was an internet boom after i should tell 2013 to 14 that is during when 4g came and exactly 2015 i believe 2015 or 16 one thing came into every indian's hand what is it 2015 or 16 internet connectivity yes i don't want to name the companies <laughs> everyone knew it it seems i get it through the chats thanks for that every indians got access to internet and the next factor we ha- we have started conducting analysis already 1/6 of the human who lives on the globe is a human so india has a biggest market and everyone has internet these days of course in if everyone has internet means that it is a kind of money pouring from each packets okay this is how people started look so when this thing came web analytics literally took off and i tell you one thing uh, data science in general talking about in general the companies who are working on various different datas if you go look at the background most of the analytics will happen based upon the web data and the mobile data okay who are willing to make money web data and mobile apart from this most uh, this application related softwares are going okay people do data analytics for medicine people do data analytics for education people do data analytics for psychology related stuff everything they do but who has the major share the data which is derived from web okay that's fine what data they derive from us yes or else i should put the question in such a way what data do you give uh, to the people who are doing this analytics any answers on that 
preferences, interest, favorites, searching dates. Yes, then e-commerce product reviews, number of times logged in, time spent. Okay, whatever you can name, all the all the results people who texted me, all those plus apart from that time you spent, how much time you spent, on which page you spent. After going to a particular page, do you go forward or you revert back and find another page to use? Okay, uh, how much purchase do you make? Okay. Not even they won't even leave a, a just a one click also everything how many clicks you make how many time you spend there everything will be taken by the web analytics software okay things ahead let's go forward let's finish this how web got evolved and uh, we, uh, let's not go to the future because we have a lot to do in the presence itself so leaving web 3 ahead web 2 this evolution gave a lot of data a lot of data people decided to make money with that yes they have made trillions and trillions of money have been made and you we are not aware of that yet okay let's see how they made it and how we can go ahead with it it's not that uh, uh, giving like a jargon word yes we have been exploited nothing like that there is still a lot of time where we can gain access from all the areas from all the mobile applications or all the web applications which you uh, or work you generate data this is how the statistics looks like the growth see in 2010 2015 2018 and see after 2020 it's again hereafter in 2025 in 2030 35 that growth is going to be like exponential if our money grows in this way we would be billionaires soon but the money is not going to blow up like this <laughs> only the data is going to blow up okay so coming to the point, the first question, what is web analytics after a lot of story? Because we learned what is web, how it evolved, what are all the metrics uh, they have been noting from the people. This is the generalistic definition of what is web analytics. Web analytics is the process of uh, analyzing behavior of the visits to the website. This involves tracking, reviewing, and reporting data to measure web activity. Now, okay. So my question, which word you find most sensitive in this particular definition? Do you find any such sensitive thing or you just see this as a definition? Just take a minute, tracking. Okay, then. Behavior of visitors. <clears throat> behavior, again. So plus one, I'll put, I'll, put, uh, I'll put plus one. Web pages, web activity. Okay, a lot of different people, <laughs> UI, Mr. Saran Kumar, great, <laughs> UI. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll go further. I've kept some uh, traps for, for all of you, which it's coming soon, okay. Let's see. First person to observe UI, Mr. Saran Kumar. Okay, going ahead. A lot of people told different things. Let's see which is the real thing. Okay. So actually, what is web analytics? Tracking you throughout the time. Whenever you switch on your phone, you open the browser. When you go in from that particular time, <clears throat> whatever you type, how many times you type the same thing, how many, how many time you spend in each application, how many... Uh, uh, scrolls you do all these things okay and one more thing uh, okay let's get going i am going to categorize web analytics or the process of web analytics into some parts <clears throat> okay and here i tell you you are not just learning web analytics you are going to also learn a little bit about digital marketing and a little bit of psychology too because everything is interconnected that's why that's how they are doing this so web analytics the first part okay accumulation of data accumulation and uh, bringing up the basic statistics so how do they accumulate the data they gather it as i told you from everywhere when you 
uh, switch on your phone, switch off your phone, some data is being shared. That is mobile analytics. Okay. So when you travel somewhere, your GPS is getting the, I mean, getting shared. That is mobile analytics. When you open a browser, how long you stay in and uh, all the details I told you, whether you go in or back, whether you, uh, uh, how much purchase you make, all these things, how many clicks you make, how many ads you view, how many ads you cross, all these things are web analytics and all the previous stuff which I told is mobile analytics. So data is accumulated everywhere. Even now when we are speaking, this particular data is being accumulated. Okay. That is, I'm not telling about the recordings. Okay. Recordings, this accumulation is different. Apart from that, in the perspective of uh, business, it is accumulated in a different way. Then the statistics. After that, the data will slowly convert it. The normal data which is collected will be converted to information. How it happens is by measurement and analysis plus report. <clears throat> okay. People will sit there. They'll clean the data. Whatever they, they, I'll show you how the data will be. Okay. They'll clean the data. They'll fetch out whatever information they need from that, uh, from a company or from the uh, user. They'll measure it. After that, they'll do all the basic analysis, what a data analyst would do. Okay. And they'll report it. To whom they'll report it? They'll report it to the next person, the data scientist or the heads of those companies. Okay. Then this information will take, please uh, don't annotate my screen. Okay. Then this information will slowly take the form of a knowledge. Okay. So how knowledge is being made? Rather than by just seeing the data, you should understand the data. Okay. And optimize and do research. Mr. Pratik, hi. How can I help you? Yes, the screen is for me, right? And they have enabled it for everyone. It seems. Okay. So understanding and optimization of the data which is present will give some knowledge. And let's see what they will do with this knowledge. Okay. So up to this point, I think you understand the flow. Initially, they'll get the data. Slowly, it will take, uh, we'll see with the examples. Slowly, it will take a form and then, I mean, it will form an information system and then it will get converted and it will it'll, it'll take a form of a knowledge. With this knowledge only, people will make money. And until this point, your understanding is that, yes, they will gather data from us and uh, they will do marketing for us. And based upon the ads, they'll get money. Okay. How many of you have this idea in your mind? How these big companies are making money with uh, web analytics or web or digital marketing? Yes. They are just posting ads and the companies are making money. How many of you has have this thing in your mind? Or if, if you have anything else, please let me know that too. That's it. Only one yes. Okay. I tell you that's a fake information, not a fake. Actually, that is a kind of creamy layer information, which has been boasted upon you. The reality is not that thing. Let me take you to the next step. First, what they'll do is set their goals. Consider if I'm running a food industry, my goal will be different. Okay. If I'm running an education industry, my, my goal will be different. If I'm running a medical industry, my goal will be different. So based upon their work, in this, there are many uh, subcategories of goals. They will set up their goal, okay, based upon their standards. Next, they will collect all the required data which is need, needed to uh, achieve that goal. Then they will process the data. Then they'll identify the key indicators, which are the major contributing factor to uh, capture the person's what to tell, uh, attention, span, and all these things. Finally, they will develop a strategy. Developing a strategy doesn't mean that it's a success. They have to test it. And they will deploy something called A-B testing to test their uh, strategies. You should know what is A-B testing, right? Does anyone have any idea about A-B testing? 
no yes because i'm going to give example lively <clears throat> by yourself itself i mean making you as an example i'm going to do it simple many would have many of your brains would have observed this particular box yes or no? i'm not asking the reason i'm not asking the reason many of your brains would have observed this particular box more <clears throat> yes or no yes why and you would have your uh, normal human brain would have thought that this guy have designed this ppt in a hurry bari it seems and uh, he have given a different color here yes before i told you this information what was your thought exactly that yes and i'm asking you in the previous slide where all the colors uniform or did any box i mean first of all where all the colors uniform or not if it was different did any box captured your uh, attention like this and uh, first of all the question is yes is there any other did did it have a uniform color or different color one answer is no okay and one answer is different i'll put one here i'll put one here did it capture your attention like this particular box the letters are bold here obviously the letters are different there <laughs> yes i'll show you the previous slide wait now you pay some attention in the previous slide the first box is dark okay the second this set of box is a little bit lighter and this box is a little more lighter than that just compare these two but this box is didn't capture your attention okay be honest in your answers this box is didn't capture your attention did it yes okay but why did this box capture your attention obviously the color is the color difference is very similar but why this box is uh, got your attention you know what i did guess what i did now with these two slides yeah that's what i'm asking the second one you you find it hard this thing is different you observe you justify that why didn't you find the first thing hard okay it was ordered and it was given in a different order fine <laughs> yes mr saran kumar you guessed it i am doing ab testing on you now on you people okay so consider the first slide is a for me and second slide is b for me okay the test tells us or uh, tells me that without uh, see this time i am doing this ab test and i am telling you i am testing on you okay if i wouldn't have told you this you would not recognize it okay so my test results are i can capture more attention if i use this kind of color combination as well as this arrangement of data okay whatever maybe i can justify a lot of reasons point is on this but the thing is that second slide is more successful in uh, making you capture that particular information than the first slide yes do you accept or any obligations for that yes so clear so ab testing done on you uh, on your itself but i revealed what i did and the same thing has been done is being done has been done is being done is going to be done on you your children your friends everyone on a daily basis and there you don't know where they are testing you okay i can openly tell one of this big companies people from there came out and they told this what was happening there uh <laughs> for every plan there's a plan b that's different okay every people came out and they literally revealed the only thing only big thing which is going inside all the big companies is ab testing okay they will give different components in the web for you okay and they will do this web analytics on you web analytics in this is basically time they can easily get a picture on which type of content on which type of colors on which type of shapes 
on which type of things you are spending more time okay and based upon this what they do know i tell you this web analytics is a kind of uh, covered word there is a guy behind the curtain uh, we are going to reveal reveal that guy who the guy is so meanwhile they do this thing and they repeatedly have tested a lot of things like this okay i ask you which feature of facebook you see as its success facebook is a very very successful company in the beginning when it started right <clears throat> now a lot of people will have different opinions on that i'm not trying to get into it okay okay mr mohammed found birthday reminder as a, a one feature which made facebook successful next like and share play games make new friends chat <clears throat> okay i'll tell you one one thing maybe a lot of people might have known this initially in this uh, chat box all the all the components which you told is a supporting factor but the major uh, contributing thing for this success is all the previous applications didn't have this scrolling option in those days okay if you scroll down it will keep on going it will be keep on going if you scroll down okay this feature was not there at all and facebook got this particular feature into their thing and it was a big success and recently instagram was a success then after when this tiktok went off instagram took off what did they insert reels what happens to reels if you scroll this way or scroll this way it will be keep on going whatsapp introduced status initially when whatsapp came status was not there when facebook was about to buy when facebook bought us one status came and youtube youtube also got the point okay what 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 it's in youtube shots so everywhere you go this particular strategy this particular testing they found success if we if i just give you uh, this feeling of scrolling continuously you won't even see what the data is if i ask you what you scrolled just two hours before if i ask you you'll remember maybe one or two shots apart from that you won't remember anything okay so like that it's been done so basically what is running behind this web analytics is let's open the curtains and see what they have did <clears throat> yes this is running behind the curtains okay behavioral analytics it is not just web analytics behavioral analytics have you heard this word before anyone with the chat box yes okay so based upon the user their only uh, point is user engagement they have to engage the user for a long time if i engage you in my uh, system for a long time i can show you more ads yes or no i can do whatever i want but the major thing is that i can show you more ads so i wanted to increase your screen time that is my only objective okay. and how i do it i have tested you for years together maybe for 10 to 8 years on different strategies and i'm implementing one after the other and i'm not going to stop making money and i'm not going to stop doing this and all those big giants who are there their children won't use social medias you can go and check okay so why i told you all this big story is that <clears throat> why i gave and brought down and opened the curtains of behavioral analytics is that web analytics is not just a subject okay you know uh, you will decide how to behave to a particular pet animal you will behave differently to a dog you will be behave differently to a baby you will behave differently to an elephant okay and they will behave literally differently on that so your behavior have been noted and your behavior have been changed literally using this analysis i'll get a picture on you okay for uh, by applying long term 
exposure on particular stuffs like YouTube, whatever it may be. I don't want to name anything. Exposing you to a different stuff, your behavior has been changed. Everyone has been given a picture that okay, you, me, everyone around here have been given a picture that we are smart. <clears throat> we are intelligent. We are intelligent in everything. We are smart in everything. You know why? Literally, we have to admit it. Yes, exactly. The content we like is shown is more. The content you wish, the content you like, the content you speak is shown to you. Okay. So all the things which you think, uh, which you search is around the web. You don't find anything extra around the web even. So what you uh, think, uh, your, your mind comes to a picture that, yes, this is the world. I think I'm living in the current area. I'm getting all the information. I'm updated. Okay. And I know everything. I can give opinions on anything. This is the picture given to each and every individual. But virtually each and every individual is living in a very different world. Okay. So this is what it's happening. So these are all the kind of uh, fearful facts about uh, behavioral analysis and web analytics. Even there's one more thing called mobile analytics. Finally, these are all the components of it. Knowing this, can you can protect yourself a little bit, okay, or your next generation a little bit on this. Or else, if we if we leave one more generation ahead, it's hard to reverse them back, okay. And uh, you can check interviews of big people who came out of Google, who created Facebook like button, and a lot of people who came out of that particular industry. They have given interviews on this. You can just go check that. Okay. Finally, all these things are okay. Uh, you gave us, uh, you gave me things, you gave me information. Everything is fine, Netaji. What are we going to do next? Okay. That must be the scenario. I tell you, as we saw, what are all the things related? Data collection, data processing, or uh, reporting, analyzing, all these things. Then testing the person and implementing. Okay. If you wanted to be really a successful, uh, what to tell, web analyst, you have to perform the work of everyone. So who does the work of collecting and processing the data from various sources? Yes, data engineers. Who does the work of producing the report, analyzing and visualizing it? Data analyst. Who does the work of creating a new model, creating a new stuff and things? Data scientist. Who implements it? Uh, for a full stack developer. Okay. And who takes the decision? The person who is sitting on top of everyone. Okay. The strategists. So this is how it has to be. So don't think that web analytics is a simple stuff. If you literally want to do from the top to bottom, you by yourself is a, a, is a separate company. Okay. Separate big company. And uh, a lot of groundbreaking truths more than this are there, but everything couldn't be revealed on the records. Maybe you can take this as an alert for you and play on the both, play on both the sides. If you wanted to build your career in this, build your career in your personal life, you can become safe and secure on things. Okay. So again, if you wanted to become a web analyst properly, you have to be all. It's not just a data engineer or it's not just a, a, a data scientist. Okay. But becoming a data scientist will be, or a data analyst will be the most interesting part of this analysis. You'll get all the data, you'll sit and analyze. Okay. If I do this changes, this guy will stay here for more time. If I do this analysis, I mean, if I do this change, this guy will buy this particular item. Okay. Everything is there. Color psychology is there. Shape psychology is there. Everything. And it, it will be better if you have some psychology background or uh, psychological experiments, which you have done. Okay. So everything it's, it's a blend of everything. It's not just one thing or one subject to learn. That's what I'm trying to explain you clear. Shall we move ahead? Mission accomplished. We have to start the coding area. Meanwhile, uh, yes, up to this, uh, concepts and things, how things are moving in web analytics. Are you okay? Shall we move further? 
yes i think i'm connected yes so we'll get hands on in some two or three different things and we'll see how it works okay so are the coordinators here coordinators oh uh, yes yes uh, yes do you need that uh, six o'clock break now or will that be fine is the person here okay no problem we can do it now as well yes that's okay great. So okay so yes the technical part the information part we are done with it what we'll do is first of all we are going to build an app Meanwhile, people, if you want to finish this process, please finish it. Uh, first of all, we'll be doing experiment. We'll see how this app is going to come out finally. So after that, before that, I'll be sharing you a link. Yes. So if you wanted to see literally how this app works out, you are going to work out the same app. This is the web app, which you're going to build out finally. I'm putting it in the chat box. You can just click and open, see this app. I'm not going to steal any of your data. Let's see how fast this thing is getting updated. Okay. I can just analyze how many people are visiting the site and uh, how much time they, I mean, how far they, they have been into it. That's it. Yes, it's the app opening. Can you access the web app? You don't need to sign up. If you sign up, I'll even get your mail ID. You can be an anonymous player there. Yes. Can I access it? Is the app working? Yes, totally. 10 people have opened it newly. <clears throat> okay. Because already I had three users. That is me, 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 and me. Three me's. So 10 people have opened it. Let me check the analytics again. 12 people. You can see how many people are getting opened here. And my workspace, the total graph up to June 2nd is updated. And this thing will get updated soon. Okay. App viewers, it will then and there it will get updated. Totally 15 unique viewers. Who are on the screen now as of now who has viewed the app okay you don't want to do anything if you open my app you'll get the things okay so totally only out of 25 people it seems that 12 people are interested in uh, opening the app it seems what about others you don't want it yes okay then i think it's an higher ceiling 15 person shall we build this app are you ready? Interesting. <laughs> My goodness. Okay. So first of all, you have to two things, two websites. I'll write it. One is Streamlight. Streamlit to be precise. Go there, sign up. And then you need your GitHub. Open two things in the two tab. Finish off your signing up in Steamlight or steamlit.io. Just type Steamlit. You'll get the first thing. Go login uh, or sign up. Definitely, you'll have an option called create new app. That's it. Okay. So we'll take one minute. First, create this. Then I'll tell you what should be done in GitHub. Two things. Here, you're going to create an app. There, you're going to write a code in GitHub. Connect two things. Your app is ready. That's it. Okay, once you're done uh, creating the account in Streamlit, just give me an uh, acknowledgement. That's enough. Okay. Let's see. We have to sign up in Google, right? Or sign up with Google. That's fine. Sign up with Google. There will be an uh, authentication option, right? Sign up with Google. Anything is fine. But the GitHub account, your GitHub account and this account should be on the same mail ID. If you don't have a GitHub account, create a GitHub account, sign up for GitHub account and both the things should be on the same mail ID or else your app won't get synced. If it has to get properly synced up, both should be of the same mail ID. Okay. Yes, it seems a lot of people have done. Let me move to GitHub. 
so um yeah github and i'm going to my profile i'll share you this thing too even if you want you can copy paste the repo but go there go to uh, github i'll tell you the methods create a new repository name anything you want <clears throat> yes i posted the repo go to github and here if it's a new account you will see something here create new repository something like that or else you will see it here new create a new repository and there okay you will have an option to add file create a first thing first step i'll write it here create new repo with any name you want second step it will be empty you will see this option add file okay you have to create two files one is requirements.txt one is streamlit underscore app.py no spelling mistake i'll write it requirements it's raining in maria seems it's a power cut okay requirements what is there in the requirements only two package i'll show you you can type that or else i'll paste it in the uh, chat box you can even retype that okay just this two lines into see there are two options i've posted you the link you can directly open copy paste or you can clone the repository or else typing just it will not take more than five minutes to type this okay so you have to do two things one is streamlit and the version is important 0.73.1 if there is a version conflict it won't work and next thing streamlit iphone analytics i'll paste it in the chat box i believe it will be visible and finally under uh, uh, bottom you will see a green color button called commit changes okay that is like saving the changes which you have made save that next i'll show you the code to the app these are the requirements needed packages i'm pasting it for you in the chat box I've been quite busy with GitHub sign up. Can okay, Saran, I'm telling you uh, this thing. Okay, first thing I believe you have finished uh, Steam Light setup. I'll show you. Just go. First of all, I'll clean the screen. Yes, Steam Light done. Okay, go to GitHub. <clears throat> you will see an option to create new repository. It'll be either here. If you are new to GitHub, it'll be somewhere here. Since I don't have a fresh account, I can't show you that now. New repository. Click that and create a new repo. I'll I'll create one. Okay, so it will be like this. Type I'm just typing GUI. Okay. So then don't change any other option. See, I've just typed the repo name and I'm not typing anything else. And at the bottom, you will have an option called create repository. Clear? Are you following this? Give me a thumbs up if you're done. No descriptions, no need to change any other data. Yes, shall I move to the next step in creating a repository? Yes, okay. So the repo name is Gubi and moving to next, create repository. So in this repository, I have to create new files. So there is an option here now, creating a new file or uploading an existing file. So if you have downloaded the file from the link which I've sent, you can upload the file or else create a new file. See the option is here. I'm again marking out, it will be very small. It is here, okay, so creating a new file. Okay, now the thing is ready. I have to give the topic requirements.txt. The topic is given, and I have to type streamlit two things streamlit is equal to 0. Point, okay, I forgot the version now. Just give me a second. Where is the link which I sent you? Okay, let me go without any errors. Let me copy the code. Okay, even I'm 
Okay, it's here. Just a second. Yeah, got it. So I'm just pasting it here. The code is, the topic is requirement.txt. The two libraries which we need is streamlit is equal to the version 0 0.73.1. And one more thing, I, I don't mention any uh, version over there. Okay, streamlit hyphen analytics. Okay, so are you done with this? Tell me if you are done. And at the bottom, you have to commit changes. Okay. There is a fine now, commit new file. You have to click that. Once you are done, let me know. We'll move to the next step. Just acknowledge me once you are done. This is the code. Maximum two minutes for that. Oh my God, it's already 6.30. Quick. Okay. So I'm going to commit this file. So one file is ready. Next, I have to create one more file. So add file because we need another file, right? For the app to write the code for the app. So create new file. The file name should be either app.py or streamlit.py, anything. Okay. Streamlit app.py. See the file name and remember this file name. This is important. And the requirement uh, dot text also. Uh, I just copied your report. Yeah, yeah, sure. Miss um, Aurora, uh, you can do that. Even I recommend doing it. Copy my record or clone my repo into yours. That will be easier. Okay. So the requirement dot text spelling must also be correct. The spelling also, also must be correct because we are not coding anything and debugging there. We are writing the code here. We are directly going to connect it to the Simlet app. So debugging is a tedious process here. That's why. Okay, let me take the code. Where's the code? Test. Um, just a second. Let me zoom in. Seamlet app.py. Just five, six lines of code, which I'm going to put it on. Yes, done. <clears throat> That's it. The first thing. I'm going to import the steam light package as ST. I believe you see the code, right? I'll zoom in a little bit, wait. Okay. So first we are going to import the package of steam light. Second, steam light analytics package. And here it is underscore. Then with steam light underscore analytics dot track, I'm going to track. I don't know what I'm going to track. So next I'm giving three components. One is the text box. One is the selection box where I kept GUI data science and this thing. And finally, I keep a button because I cannot create an empty app, right? I should put something there. That's why or else I could have completed it in just four lines. One, two, three, four. It will work. If you want, you can put it at just four, four lines. Once you're done with this, what you have to do? You have to go down, commit the changes. Once you are done, let me know. I'll tell you what is the next step. We'll take maximum two minutes for this. Mm -hmm. Is the screen visible for you? No one is telling anything. That's why. Yes, I believe the screen must be visible. Yes. So once you are done, let me know. Don't make any silly spelling mistakes. Even if you want, I will paste it here once in the chat box. Or you can directly get it from the link which I sent you. Any option, but don't make any spelling mistakes. It's better you go to my repo, copy it from there and paste it. Even one small mistake, all the people who are used to Python and programming languages would know that. Even one small mistake, it's done. The app won't work. <clears throat> Once you're done, give me an update. We'll move forward.
still doing. It seems to be a slow session today. Yes. People who have done, just give me an update. Last two minutes, I can't hold more than that. You have to move forward. Yes, great. Thank you. We'll have one more minute. So then, uh, yes, let's take one minute. Okay, then that's great. A lot of people have completed, it seems. If you need time, just mention me. I will hold that. So at the bottom, you have to come into changes. So two files are ready. Now I need to go back to my Streamlight. Okay. And there you would have, you would have an initially you will have a very fresh screen. You will have an option to create new app. Okay. Click that. And very simple. You are, if you have used proper mail ID, that is same mail ID while creating Streamlight and uh, uh, the GitHub account, your account would automatically get synced. The name would come here. So your work is to just select which repo you, are, you want to use. So I have created the new repo. The name is GUI. Okay, so I'm giving GUI. And the app name, please mention the correct app name which you have mentioned there. It will automatically show you mostly. That's it. If it is done, the next button is the missile launch button, deploy. That's it. Your app will be ready. You can post it to everyone and you can see the analytics. Okay. Yes. So once you're done, let me know. I'll tell you the next steps. Okay. And the last step is to deploy. Let's see how much time it takes. It'll take some time for the final uh, thing. Things will take time to cook up. You can see the logs on right side here. Maybe maximum two to three minutes, depending upon your bandwidth. <clears throat> See, just there two lines, here uh, six lines, not more than within 10 lines. It's done. If you get the app, you can share me. I'll even check. You can see the analytics coming over there. Or else what you can do is you can copy your app link, which is going to come. Still, it's not available. Once the app is ready, it will come. You can share it to your friends or uh, uh, share it to your WhatsApp and open it in your mobile. <clears throat> You'll get the new thing. Okay. You'll get the updates. Okay. Yes, I got one from Ms. Uh, Chirac. Let's see. And how will you open the analytics? That's That should be the next question, right? I'll show you. Oh my God, it's getting loaded up. Huh? Okay, let it first get finished. I'll show you. When you go to our app in the dashboard in the first page, okay, it's deployed, I believe. Yes, it is deployed. So after deployment, the link which you get here is the link which you need to share on the top. Point number one. And how to check analytics? Go back and the app name is GUI. Okay, and here you will have a button. If you click that button, you will have an option called analytics. See, come back, choose your app. I mean, you don't need to choose your app, find your app and choose the menu. And if you click analytics, you'll get. So there's currently only one viewer that is me myself. So it's coming there. Okay, so let us get the view of others too. So I've got one from Ms. Aurora. Let me check. So I'm opening it here. Uh, you just have a check whether you, you get things updated over there or Ms. Uh, Aurora. Yes, your app is working fine. Great. Yes. Your app is completely fine. And we got from Mr. Prasad. Let's open.